Hello, in this video we will be looking at grouping of cells. Cells can be grouped in many manner out of these two are famous which are in series and in parallel. So we will look at these two. When cells are in series, they are connected like this, they will be having same current passing through them. The current through each of the cell will be same. So the equivalent of these cells just look at the polarities e1 e2 e4 are in the same polarities and e3 is attached by reversing its polarity which are opposing the other three so e equivalent will be simply sum of these with as minus e3 because e3 is opposite to the polarity as of others plus put the r equivalent will have no change due to the polarity of e3 so these are the r equivalent as they are in series the r equivalent will be r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 so there's no change in r equivalent again look at this the polarity of e3 is opposite to the polarity of e1 e2 and e4 so we have assumed their polarity to be positive and of e3 to be negative whereas in parallel combination these are the resistance internal resistance these are the cells so when they are connected like this again i have taken e3 as opposite to other rest of the cells so e equivalent will be e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 we can derive these result but for the sake of time i'm just giving you the final derived result which is minus e3 by r3 and so on again there will be no change in the resistance or sign of the resistance will remain positive whereas r equivalent will be this by equivalent we means that point a and b either we put these four batteries or we put this one battery with this equivalent resistance will will not find any difference in any term the same current will be there the same potential difference will be there everything will be same if we replace these four batteries by this one that's why we call this one battery to be equivalent of all these batteries so now we'll look at the application of cells or combinations of cells in their applications first application is solving a circuit in this there's a circuit which have two cells and few resistances so the resistance which are in series can be added together we have to find the potential difference or the current passing through this okay so we can add these two resistance give you 10 ohm and again this resistance give you 10 ohm these are two cells with like polarities together so the circuit will be transformed to this look at this and equivalent as these two cells are in parallel their equivalent will be 10 by 10 10 ohm by its resistance just look at the above result i have mentioned a minute earlier and 20 by 10 e2 by r2 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 will give you 15 so e equivalent will be 15 whereas r equivalent will be 5 again from this circuit we resolve to this the equivalent of these two cells and these two resistance is 15 and 5 so the current in the circuit equivalent resistance will be 10 and there will be a 15 volt battery which will give you 1.5 ampere we could have solved this by using uh, kvl or nodal method but this is quite simpler or it takes less time most of the time thank you uh, there is a different kind of question which asks what is the maximum current or the maximum power through a given resistance with the help of a number of cells which are present in the question. So just break that question into two parts. There are m into n cells such that m cells in each row and n such rows are there. You have to find the equivalent cell and its equivalent resistance. So I have made the diagram. There are m cells in a row and there are n such rows they are joined like this so while 
these are in series so their equivalent will be me and the equivalent resistance will be mr look at this and there will be n such rows so each row will have me and mr as equivalent emf and equivalent resistance with the help of this again i am using the result of parallel combination of cells for n rows so e1 by r1 e2 by r2 n times 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 n times i will get as e equivalent me and r equivalent as mr by n okay and this we can see how we get r equivalent and there's a theorem called maximum power transfer theorem according to which the power through a resistance will be maximum if it is equal to the internal resistance of the cell okay now look at this question there are 48 cells there are 48 cells in which each having emf4 internal resistance 2 you have to form a combination which will give maximum power or current through a given 6 ohm resistance okay so what the maximum power transfer theorem says power through r will be maximum when r equivalent is equal to capital r so to get maximum power we can say m into n is 48 and the final resistance of the combination of cells should be 6 again to have maximum power through r so m by n into r we have just use the result of the previous question m by n into r is capital r which is the external 6 ohm small r is 2 ohm so we get m by n is equal to 3 from these two equation m n equal to 48 m by n equal to 3 we can easily find out m 12 and 4 so the current now the battery is m e now the battery is m e means 12 into 448 and the equivalent resistance is 6 so total 6 and 6 will be 12 the battery is of 48 and there is a 12 ohm of resistance so we will get 48 by 12 will give you 4 ampere is the maximum current which can produce with the help of these 48 cells from a resistance of 6 ohm thus by creating maximum power through it the third application of uh, combination of cell is to find potential difference between two cells or potential difference between two points again uh, you have to look at the question and find the similarity if these questions these question can be solved uh, by many methods kvl kcl nodal there are few more superposition method and many more okay so this is one of them method and uh, you have to judge whether this is simple or another method is simpler in this type of question or not okay so just look at the method there are a few cells and we have to find the potential difference between a and b these two cells are in series so we add them to give us 20 and 4 as internal resistance now there are three cells one is of opposite polarity in comparison to other so we find out equivalent as even by r1 e2 by r2 with the minus sign because of opposite polarity plus e3 by r3 and equivalent resistance we get e equivalent as 4 and there's no need to get r equivalent where say uh, r equivalent will come out to be 4 by 5 okay so with the help of this diagram i can easily say as the circuit is quite open there will be no current flowing through this equivalent battery and uh, again i'm not saying uh, i'm not saying that there is no current in the circuit in these diagrams but in this diagram i can say there's no current flowing from a to b or from b to a as the circuit is open okay so in totality the potential difference will be e equivalent which is 4. in this question there are an identical cell are joined in with an external resistance such that two are opposite to the other remaining cells so we have to find the current in the circuit and potential difference between cells these cells which are getting discharged these cells which are getting charged and is quite a large number 
and is greater than 4. So as the remaining cell will be n minus 2 and 2 are opposite, so the E equivalent will be n minus 4, n minus 2, minus 2. Okay, look at n minus 2 are arranged in this order, whereas 2 are arranged opposite. So these two will cancel 2 furthermore, and the remaining cells will wrap EMF equal to n minus 4E. But the equivalent resistance will be NR plus capital R. So current will be this from this diagram. And we can get V terminal of charging cells is E plus IR, whereas V terminal for discharging cells will be E minus IR. Okay. We can have a look at uh, general EMF and cells for this clarification it will be e plus ir it will be e minus ir right 